So my name is Ziv and I'm the founder of uh, Monfort, which is a health IT company. Our mission is to improve the health and safety of patients suffering from neurological disorders. Um, as part of my PhD, I've participated in several brain surgeries and was amazed to see the state-of-the-art technology available in the operation room. We've really made a huge progress since the very first brain surgery, some 5,000 years ago. Unfortunately, it is very rare that a singular intervention can cure a neurological disorder, and for the most part, an ongoing treatment is required. So back in the pyramid days, this meant that once in a while, you'd have to go and visit um, a local shaman. He'll uh, take you into his clinic, examine you, tell you you need to take some herbs, and then off you go till the next visit. And this is the paradox that triggered the establishment of Monfort, because unlike the huge progress we've made inside the operation room, we're pretty much stuck doing the same old thing outside of it. And our treatment is still based upon infrequent examination, which do not occur in the patient natural environment. So this is how we fix that in Monfort. Thanks to Ginger IO, I can speed this part up. Um, basically, we have uh, a patient who is using medication, is using uh, deep brain stimulation in this example, or both. We use his own personal smartphone and convert it into a portable lab, sampling various indicators of brain functionality. All this data is gathered into our central database where it is further analyzed and directed into two channels. The first one is the physician, as Ginger Iro has uh, explained. The physician now has reports, inclusive reports, and real-time alerts whenever anomaly is uh, occurring. This can provide treatment optimization for this particular patient. But we can also take the accumulative data from many patients and direct it to pharmaceutical companies, to uh, uh, device manufacturers, to improve their R&D, to uh, gain risk mitigation. So by helping the treatment designers and manufacturers on one hand to develop better treatment and the treatment provider to better utilize this treatment, we accomplish our mission, which is to improve the health and safety of our patients. Now, the brain is a tricky organ in our body because it doesn't have only physiological aspects for its functionality. And as a matter of fact, we're talking about three different dimensions. The first one is the motor one. So you're well aware of the tremor associated, for example, with Parkinson's disease. There are many other motor symptoms for many other neurological disorders. The second dimension is the cognitive one. For example, short-term memory, language skills, problem solving. The last dimension, last but not the least, is the affective one or psychological state of the patient. Is he happy or is he depressed? By analyzing standard and daily usage of the smartphone device, we can provide various indicators for each of these dimensions. For patients using deep brain stimulation, we intend to add the fourth dimension, hence the, the name Monfort, which is the normal activity. We can, access, we, we can now access the data recorded from the deep brain stimulation electrodes, and we can include that into the models that we built. To wrap it up, as any uh, student here in the Technion will tell you, if you have a system and you want it to reach a certain goal or a target, you need to provide a feedback. So this is what we're doing with Montfort. We provide a feedback, closing the loop between the physician and the, and the patient. This feedback is frequent, it's quantitative, it's inclusive. It's, it, it includes all the dimensions uh, I mentioned. It's mobile, so it can occur in the patient natural environment and it's transparent. So we eliminate the observer's effect. The patient is not aware that it's being examined, which takes a lot of the stress away from uh, uh, the examination. We're just starting this company up, about to start our first pilot. I'd be happy to give you more information later on. Thank you very much for your time.